Hi there, friends. Welcome to the YouTube channel for the First United Methodist Church in Orange, California. My name is Pastor Bill Johnson, and this is another daily episode of We Are the Church. Good Wednesday to you, friends. I hope your week is progressing well and you're having a good day today. December 7th is the day today. In the past, it was labeled a day of infamy because of an attack on Pearl Harbor. It betokened the beginning of the United States participation in World War II. But for us today, I hope you're having it as a day of peace and a day of joy in the Lord as we prepare for the coming of uh, Christmas in just a few weeks. Speaking of preparing and receiving and Christmas, I'm going to be reading today from chapter 9 of the prophet Isaiah, and this will be verses 6 through 7. And uh, this is what the prophet says. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us, authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor. Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace. At the time, the prophet was speaking of endless peace for the throne of David, but of course, we have known that the peace of Christ, which surpasses all understanding, and guards our hearts and our minds in the knowledge and the love of God and of his son, Jesus Christ. That peace has been transmitted from generation to generation ever since the birth of Christ. At Christmas time, we are often consumed with the giving and receiving of gifts. And if we are really thoughtful, if we are really paying attention, then the people we love the most not are not just receiving uh, 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 a quick trip to the store so we can get something to put under the tree. They're getting something that um, symbolizes the importance of one another in our lives for each other. And that's what God did in the gift of his son, Jesus. He wanted to show how important you are to him. He wanted to show the world uh, the way that we should go as we go forward. And so he sent his only begotten son the only Son of God, to be the gift that is given to the world. A son is born unto us, a child is given. This is the powerful gift of God, but it's hard to explain. And uh, sometime right after Christmas, somebody may walk up to you and ask, what did you get for Christmas? I wonder if this year all of us could kind of form a conspiracy. And when they say, what did you get for Christmas? We can say, I got a wonderful counselor, an everlasting father. I got a mighty God. I got the Prince of Peace. God's peace in this world is more than just the absence of violence. It is a celebration of the rightness of all things those moments in our lives when time and space and events conspire to reveal the glory of God and to cause in our hearts a sense of just the rightness of everything. The Hebrews had a word for it. They called it shalom. And that shalom is continuing to spread in the world. Sure, there are pockets of violence and there's disruption and, uh, and uh, lives torn by uh, various events. But in the midst of it all, if we receive the Son of Christ into our lives, there is this powerful sense of shalom. And my prayer for all of us today is that we will have an experience of that shalom. And then as the Christmas season unfolds and you are asked by somebody, what did you receive? You can say, I received the Prince of Peace. That's my true gift in this season. Let's pray. Loving God, thank you for the gift of your son, Jesus. May we know his true shalom, his peace in our hearts. And God, may the experience of that peace not be something that we keep to ourselves, but may it fill us to such an extent that we extend your light and your peace 
to all the world. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. <clears throat> all right, friends, time to go be light bearers into this world. Uh, don't just put up the lights. You be the light for somebody this week. I want to thank you for stopping in here today and remind you that you can find We Are the Church, these little uh, several minute episodes every single Monday through Saturday right here on this YouTube channel. And uh, as we're going out today, a kind of quick reminder of our marching orders to do no harm, to do all the good we can, and to stay in love with God. Do that and I'll see you next time. <laughs>